Hello everyone, I'm Jessica. Welcome to my vlog of the buzzword -a-thon. I did not do a TBR for this readathon, so I figured I would tell you what books I plan to read this week now, and um, we'll go from there. So the first book is What the Dead Want by Nora Olson. Don't really know what this one's about. Have no clue. Okay, What If It's Us, Becky Al Ritali and Adam Silvera. This one's about two boys that keep having like these meat cutes but things don't really work out so they're starting to wonder if maybe it's them. And The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This one is about a witch who kidnaps children and feeds them the sun but this one shot accidentally drinks the moon instead of the sun. Those are the three books I plan to read this week. I know that I have a couple of days this week that I'm gonna get zero reading done and I'm still doing my reading for All the Appreciation Month which is like my primary goal of the month so I didn't want to overload myself with books. So three. Also would like to state that I intended to get up this morning and like film my intro and like go about my day but I overslept and then went to work for 10 hours and then I had to go to the grocery store and then I came home and made dinner and it is now 7 20 p.m. I still haven't ate my dinner like I made it but I haven't ate it yet so I'm going to eat dinner and then I'm going to sit down and read some and then I'll be back with an update. So I am now on page one 22 of what the dead want um apparently this book is about a girl who is 16 and her great aunt who she's never met or heard of calls her and asks her to come stay at her house and she goes because yeah that's creepy and then they start seeing ghosts and then some crap happens and it's actually kind of cool it's kind of like um photographs and how like you can catch spirits in photographs versus not seeing them with the naked eye. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of creepy. And I don't know if this was a good idea before bed, but mm, okay. It's like 10, 15 right now. So I'm going to read some more, but that is where I'm at for now. It is a little after midnight now. I just finished What the Dead Want. This book was not what I expected at all. Wow, it was a really hard read. It was a really hard read, more than I had expected, because I really just expected it to be like, once I got into it and kind of figured out what it was, I expected it to be like a ghost story, which it was, but it had a lot to do with the Civil War and the atrocities that uh, white people, things that they did to African Americans in that time period, and it was horrifying to read. I mean it's not that it, it wasn't anything that I haven't seen or heard before but yeah it definitely was just I was expecting it to be hard because of like the scary aspect of it because I'm not like into super scary stuff but it was uh, hard for other reasons. Suffice it to say I cried quite a few times. It talked a lot about how 98% of all crime in the world is committed by men and and how historically not always, but historically, you know, it's like rich white men that cause all the problems and it was just a really hard thing to read. It is uh, mixed media. It has like pictures throughout it and um, letters, notes, flyers, uh, newspaper art. The newspaper articles were some of the hardest things I've ever had to read in my life. Normalized lynching, which you know stuff like that happened, but just, it's just... It was really hard to read which is why I stayed up and read it instead of going to bed like I should have done because I have to be up in less than six hours for work but whatever I, I couldn't could not put that book down I don't know what I'm gonna read it yet I have to sleep on it and think about it but I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow okay it is now day two of the buzzword of fun and I can't decide if I want to start what if it's us or if I want to start Girl Who Drank the Moon. I'm very undecided. I think because the last book was YA. I'll go with middle grade and then back to YA. I think that's what I'll do. I think i read this one first. Much like yesterday, I went to work for 10 hours. Now I'm home. It's like 5.30 p.m. Not quite as excessive as yesterday. I'm probably not going to read all of this today like I did yesterday either. And I need to do some filming. I have a cover <laughs> reveal that I was supposed to film yesterday and didn't because I got into that book so I need to film it and edit it right now so that I can post it today um, and do that and then um, do some uh, cover reveal promotions and then back to this. 
or to this I guess I should say because I haven't started this so back to the readathon but on to this book. This book's 386 pages I think the last one was like 290. I'll give you guys an update here in a little bit. So it is now like 11 30 and despite the fact that I got home early at like 5 30 I only managed to read about 50 pages of the girl who drank the moon between filming and editing and uploading a video because I forgot to do it yesterday because I was so engrossed in the book that I was reading yesterday. I've read 50 pages. I am exhausted. I only slept for about five hours last night and then went to work for 10 hours so fun times and I'm gonna get up and go to work for 10 hours again tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any vlogging tomorrow. After work I have a nail appointment and a hair appointment so I may be getting home very late so I, I may not do any vlogging tomorrow. I may read a little bit more tonight before bed um but this will be my last update before bed and I'm gonna take it with me and I may read some more before I fall asleep but <sighs> I wouldn't bet on it <laughs> hi it's Thursday the 21st I have new hairs that's why I knew that I wouldn't be doing any filming on Wednesday any vlogging on Wednesday because I spent like four hours in the salon yesterday. I got my hair done. I got my nails done. I knew that was going to be a forever process. Plus, you know, my 10 hours at work, so no big deal. I have not made it any further in what is the book I'm reading? The Girl Who Drank the Moon. That's the one. So I haven't got any further in The Girl Who Drank the Moon. I did read about 30% of Riser by Becca C. Smith yesterday in the chair under the dryer, which I'm reading for AuthorTube Appreciation Month because Becca is an AuthorTuber. And right now I'm getting ready to actually, you can kind of see behind me, getting ready to do um, AuthorTube chat with Becca and Kate. So I'm going to be doing that for a while, which means no reading for me for a little while longer. Just kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update. A nice update. It does look a little more gray blonde than blue at this current moment in time. But we had to like quadruple, triple, double, I don't know, some ridiculous amount of bleaching. So I was warned ahead of time that I would have to go back in and do another round of the blue. In a couple of weeks so in a couple of weeks I'll be even more blue than I am right now which is amazing and I'm really loving it I hope you guys are too I lost an earring doing that I'm off to go chat with the girls and I'll talk to you guys here later okay bye the author tube chat is over it literally was like two and a half hours so like us girls started chatting at like six the live started at 6 30 we ended the live at 8 30 we kept talking till nine it was a thing um it was super fun there were some things that happened like first off i hit 400 subscribers during the live so like hello everyone if you were like on there you're probably not watching this because like author tube content versus booktube content but whatever like if you like my face hi holy schnickerdoodles you gonna be all right so it's 9 30 i just made my lunch for tomorrow mom is finishing dinner for tonight so i haven't ate dinner yet it's like almost 10 o'clock it's like 9 37 i'm pretty sure i just told you what time it is twice but whatever so i haven't read anything yet this vlog is awesome right right if you were here for my unboxing of my ostara sobbit box did i just say sobbit box like a hobbit but a sobbit ostara sabbit box the goddess figurine was broken i contacted the sabbit box and they sent me out a new one and i got that today so i did get a replacement super easy so if you were interested in the sabbit box and you're in that saga i got my replacement okay so like None of the books that I'm reading right now have audiobooks. So I have been audiobooking books that I plan to read next month. So today I finished The Fifth Wave. So today I started Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. It's kind of weird. I don't know that I like it on audiobook. I probably should have read it physically because like it has like the parts where they're scratched out. And so that probably was a bad decision audiobook wise. I think I just said so like 400 times. 
All right, that's all I have for now. I'm going to have dinner and then go back to reading. Okay. It's Friday! I was planning on reading more of The Girl Who Drank the Moon last night and updating you and then things happened. Family. You know, sometimes they just find the most inopportune moment to need your services. So I got to bed late. I didn't get to read any. So now it's Friday. It's 6.08 p.m. Uh, which basically means I have to read all of The Girl Who Drank the Moon because I'm only on like page 48 and all of What If It's Us in the next three days. Should be a fun time. The audiobook that I'm listening to right now is The Lies We Told by Camilla Way, which doesn't work for this readathon, but it was actually my book that I picked for the Buzzwordathon in like January for the Lie, Liar, Lies one that I never got around to. It's one of my carryovers. It's been carrying over since January. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I have to work tomorrow too. So fun times. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of digging this angle. I might have to use it more often. So in a surprise to absolutely no one, I did not film anymore last night. So I think what we've discovered is just that I suck at vlogging. Um, cause it's like now on Saturday at 5 PM because again, I had to get up this morning and go to work. I did read more of The Girl Who Drank the Moon last night. I'm on page 112, which means I read like another 60-ish pages last night before I went to bed. I do have some things I need to do later tonight. Not important things, but things I want to do, like watch the um, drunk live show, Chelsea and Julie, which is at nine o'clock tonight, my time, which is about four hours from now, which means I'll need to have dinner before that. So probably got to stop around eight o'clock or so. Got my moose blankie, which lands pillow. It is way later. I don't know where I started to fall asleep, but I definitely fell asleep. I only read it's like page 134. So I only read like 20 pages and then fell asleep for like three hours. It wasn't three hours, it was like two. And then I got up and I made dinner and I watched um, Chelsea and Julie in the Drunk Live show, which was like two and a half hours long. It's now after midnight and I'm going to take this book to bed because despite the fact that I slept for two hours, I'm not tired right now but I know if I don't go to bed fairly soon then I won't get up in the morning and I have a live write-in tomorrow morning on my channel so I have to be awake for that. Flash is here. Say hi Flash. Say hi. There's Flash's mommy Twixie. Hi Twixie. That's my life, guys. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so good girl. Yeah. Okay, can I can I breathe now? And lucky me, Sky's not here today, so I didn't get mauled by three dogs. Okay, so day six, still a shit show. I tried, guys. I tried this vlog thing. It's just not really working for me. This is just kind of a shit show vlog. Again, I this is only the second readathon that I've ever vlogged so I'm, I'm still learning obviously hopefully you don't hate it completely I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll see how much I read tonight and do a live show in the morning and then I will I'll definitely be finishing this tomorrow I'm 100% not gonna get to what if it's us but I will definitely finish this tomorrow not a problem as long as I don't just sleep all day it'll be fine Cupcakes. thank you now what are we doing? Now, now, now what are we doing? And now it's time for bed. Okay, bye. You guys want to say good night? <laughs> well, it's Sunday now. Still haven't read any more of this. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. I did my live write-in and it just ended. And I guess now I should probably get to some reading because I've got like three quarters of the book left. The readathon's over very shortly. So I'm going to get to this and I'll update you in a little bit. So listen. It's like not Sunday anymore. I still never finished The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Honestly, I'm on page 182 and I think it has more to do with the fact that I'm just not enjoying it. And I hate to DNF another book because I've DNF'd three books this month already, which is absolutely insane. Spoiler for my wrap up. And I don't know that I can DNF a fourth book, but I'm just, I'm just really not enjoying this, which is weird because I like the idea of it and I like 
the characters. It's doing a lot of time jumps, like you get, you know, six or seven paragraphs from, you know, a character's point of view at one age, and then it jumps five years, and you get a, a chapter from that age, and then it goes back, and then it goes to another character, and then it just it's jumping all over the place. I think that's the same problem that I have with another book that I DNF'd this month. You know, it just, it continuously jumps from one thing to another and and the, the story jumps from character to character and from age to age. And it's just really hard for me to stay in the story and, and to enjoy where I'm at. So I think for now, I'm going to put this one down. I'm going to work on other books that I'm reading. I started a book yesterday. I've read more of it than I have of this in a week. I, I just, it's just not working for me. I think that's my problem. I think that's why I struggled with this readathon so much. I, at first I just thought it was because I wasn't, I didn't really have time to read, but I think it has more to do with just me not enjoying this book. So my wrap up is that overall I finished one book that I really enjoyed and read 47% of this book, which was okay. And I'm probably going to put this one down. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it. I haven't completely decided if I want to give up on it completely or if I want to come back to it later. It may have more to do with how my uh, TBR takedown is doing at the end of the year. If I haven't picked this up again by then, it's probably just going to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video this week um, of me vlogging. Uh, again, I'm trying some new things and I'm still learning how to vlog and to make it fun and I guess it would probably be more fun if I read more than a book and a half, but there's always the next readathon, which is coming up very soon. I am, spoiler alert, doing the fantasy thon and I will be vlogging for that as well. So hopefully I enjoy the books that I'm reading for that more than the ones that I'm reading right now. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and surprise videos on Saturday. So until then, I will see you guys next time.